Mama Rose, are we going out today? Um, Khalid, I'm going out, but you're not coming with me. But it's Saturday. I always go out with you. How come you're not taking me? Because um, I have Mama to... Rose is meeting a friend. I'm not going either. I'll be home. Mm, me too. We can hang out. I was thinking of watching The Quick and The Curious. Do you think I should? What do you think? Should we get a movie? No. It's loud and senseless. Yoibo was thinking of watching a new documentary with you. Documentary? Yeah, don't want. What snacks should we get for the movie? You can just eat fruits. Ibu, maybe you can go out with a friend too. Then she, Sarin and I can have boys movie day together. Morning. Morning, Yo. What are your plans today? Uh, thought I would stay home, rest. Oh, really? <laughs> now that you're better, I would have thought you would want to catch up on some work. I mean, if you have nothing planned, why don't you just go to the office? It's a Saturday. Do we have to talk about work on a weekend? Morning. Yuk, do you want to meet Fiona and Alan for lunch today? Didn't you just see Fiona yesterday? Are you jealous? Go ahead and see them yourself. I have better things to do. Hello? Meet up today? Sure. Hey, I thought you were going to the gym. Uh, I'm waiting for Nina. I'm giving her a lift. Oh. What are you working on? Just running through my notes for my meeting with Dr. Shen later. You have any plans for the weekend? Yeah, well, I've got a meeting lined up with the washing machine, a conference with the vacuum cleaner, and the oven wants to run through some feedback that I gave it, so. Well, I'm sure you came up with some gaming ideas. Yeah, I saw you sketching in your notebook last night. Yeah, I was just doodling. Hmm? <laughs> so cute! Why are they all contractors and plumbers? <laughs> yeah, that's cutthroat contractor and pricey plumber. <laughs> and guess who's calling? It's our I want it fixed now, neighbor. Hello, Madam Kyung. Yeah. No, I haven't found any contractors yet. I'm still looking around for coats. Yes, I... I know. Yes, I'll find someone tonight. Hi. Did something happen? No, I'm just... just feeling seen. Mm. I know what to do. You do? Meet me at the park in 10 minutes. Oh, Eunice and Dr. Shin are fighting over the free clinic. Mm. How bad is it? Gotma's pretty upset. She wants to talk to me about this later. What does Ananya have to say? I don't think she knows anything yet. See? She's not so on top of things either, is she? I should get going. Meeting you? Nope. I know that look. Is she angry with you? And as usual, I don't know why. If I had to go for a spa in Bali without my husband, I'd be angry too. My treat. Now that Louis is not there, I don't know what I'd do if you didn't keep me up to date with what's happening at KSUH. Thanks. But... I'll keep you up to date on what happens at KSUH. You? Um, I should get going. Yeah, um, latest news. Ananya is doing great as CEO. That's why I don't ask you for updates. How can you say such a thing? But it's true. She sent a bunch of emails last night. Strong, decisive, clever emails. Ananya took your brosan's job. You shouldn't be cooperating with her. You should be...
Hello. I need a favor. I'm not calling Madeline for you, Lewis. But I haven't heard from her. So wait. Please. Why can't you call her yourself? I'm helping at the restaurant. But I don't want to look desperate. <sighs> but you are. Okay, thank you. Okay. You call her and then you call me back, okay? You're the best. Bye. Hello? Hi, Melin. It's Zara. Hi. I, I was wondering uh, that day what Louis asked you. Whether I was going to give him six months to prove himself? Uh huh. So, have you decided yet? Hi, Mom. Hi, son. I'm expecting a call, Mom. I hope you're not making arrangements for lunch. You need to get off the line. As long as you promise to meet me for lunch. No, bye. Everyone will be there. We're having a Shelley family lunch at Adina's. No. Wait, did you say Adina's? I'll see you there, Mom. Bye. Hard at work? Mm-hmm. Free cleaning proposal? Shen wrote it. If I wrote it, it would be half of this, but two times more interesting. Hey, um, about the other day, when I told you about the results and Melody, are you sure you're okay? Why are you asking? I just because... But let me guess. You went off to do her own thing again and you have nothing else better to do, right? Never mind. What's this lunch about, Celia? Let's wait till everyone gets here, shall we? Oh, I'm not having anything. I gotta rush back to pick up Maxine from art class. We'll have to wait till everyone's here. Great, we can start. What about Eunice and Jessica and you? They said it was a family lunch. Uh, it's actually more of a mother, son, father, brother, mother's husband lunch. What are you up to, Celia? Well, I called all of you here to talk about. Shh. She's here. I think we should sit outside. You want to do what? I gave up a prime parking spot in front of Maxine's art class for this. Don't take that attitude with me. I can't believe you both agreed with the decision to make Ananya CEO. You've ruined Louis' life. Look at him. What? Pay attention, Louis. I am paying attention. Look at him. He isn't even bothered about the position. But I... Celia, Louis seems fine with it. Dad and I are in complete agreement. There's no point discussing this any further. Unless, of course, the employees have some kind of problem with Ananya being the CEO. You got any feedback for us there, Julius? I think Ananya's great. Fine, that's it. I'm washing my hands off the situation. You're on your own, Louis. What? What? Ananya? Ah. Sorry, you were saying? A lot of people think it's a good thing, you know. What is? that KSUH has a new CEO that isn't a Shelley. It's a refreshing change, and change is always good. Thank you. Speaking of good change... The uh, free clinic proposal. Mm. Have you read it? Yes, a few months ago when you and your team submitted it. Mm. Scrap that old one. New and improved. I took my blood pressure this morning. It's through the roof. What, Ma? You have to relax. How can I? With Ananya as the CEO and Dr. Shen flip-flopping on our agreement about the free clinic, it's driving me crazy. I told you what he wanted, didn't I? A whole building or something. Where does he think the money is going to come from? It's definitely not within our budget. If he wants it, he should jolly well go and ask his family. They have more than enough. Is that what Shen is talking to Ananya about? 
What do you mean? He's having a meeting with her right now downstairs. What? You didn't know? Dear, what is he planning behind your back? How dare he? Goma, calm down. No, don't calm down. Go and tell him off. It's bad enough what he did to Yoke. Now he wants to mess with KSF as well. I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. Goma. We are talking about the biggest free clinic in the country. We'll be providing all the services from primary care, TCM, psychiatric care, and even on-site specialty and diagnostic services. Have you discussed this with Eunice? If you clear it, there won't be a need to go to Eunice. You know how she is. We have to do this fast. We have to do this right. Dr. Shen, I appreciate your enthusiasm and desire to help the community. But within KSUH, there are proper protocols. And next time, I'd appreciate it if you went through the proper channels first before approaching me. Do you think you can step over me and head straight to Ananya? I was hoping that unlike you, Shelley, she wouldn't see things in dollars and cents. This clinic is for the community, not another project for you people to earn a profit from. The Shelleys are not the only ones who wouldn't back what you're asking for. Any Tom, Dick or Harry on the street with basic arithmetic skill would see that your plan is not feasible. The budget is ridiculous. Where are you going to get the money from? Your father? Come on. Honestly, Dr. Shen, in all my years in the industry, I've never worked with anyone with such a complete lack of integrity. You're such a disappointment. I'm going. Come on, yo! Uh, I cannot run. Hey, that Ape overtook you, eh? He was fast, okay? See, see, see what drinking does to you, huh? You used to be so fast, faster than everyone, except me. I was always faster than you. Oh, prove it. Not today. Scared, right? You know I'm faster. I just can't run today. I had a drink last night. I couldn't sleep. You know what did I do? I drank a whole bottle of wine. Such a failure. You are not. It's not easy to quit just like that. Okay, at the next AA meeting, just tell them... There's no next AA meeting. I'm not going anymore. Huh? You have to go. Actually, you should go for one today. There's no use. I'm beyond help. Yo, go and talk to them. See what they say. I think it's quite common, right? If everyone is successful the first time, there wouldn't need to be a need for this kind of meeting, right? I don't want to go. Okay. Uh, if you can catch me before I reach the next lamppost, you don't have to go. But if you don't, I am dragging you there. What? On your mark, can set, go! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for coming. I'll call you if I need you to do the job. so sad, Daddy. All these contractors are quoting high prices. They are very expensive. More expensive than a basketball? More expensive than many, many basketballs. I know what you can do. You can solve my problem. Why don't you buy me a basketball so I'll be the best basketball player ever and I'll be so rich that I can pay for all the repairs? You know what? I have a better idea. Forget about being a basketball player. Forget about being a lawyer, a doctor. Why don't you become a contractor? It looks like they're earning tons of money. You want me to become a contractor, like Uncle Hawk? <sighs> Hello, Hawk? Yeah. OK, sure. You look nice. Enjoy your date. It's been cancelled. What happened? So the codes are correct? They aren't overcharging me? This is a difficult job. Cost a lot. Get your insurance to cover it. 
my policy lapsed. Oh, dear, that one. <laughs> hey, Hulk came over to give me a code. It's the same as all the other contractors. Kenneth, I tell you what, since you are my mask long-time customer, I'll do for you at cost. Seriously? For you only. That's a huge discount. Hulk, business is business. You shouldn't... No problem. I always look out for my people. My people look out for me, I look out for my people. You let me know, ah. Uh. Yeah, I will, I will. Thanks. Why do you look like that? It's a good deal. I don't think you should give him the business. He's doing me a favor. <laughs> Did you see that smug look on his face? He's got an agenda. Kenneth, you don't want to owe Hawk any favors. Ananya, it's almost half all the quotes. I can't turn him down. And I don't have time to look anymore, okay? Madam Tiong wants me to find someone by tonight. Okay, then just find one of the other contractors. I'll pay for the difference. What does that mean? I just don't want you to give him the job. <laughs> yeah, I know you're a big CEO and all that now, but you don't get to dictate what happens all the time. Come on, you know that's not what I'm doing. Well, I don't need your charity, okay? I can manage it. Ken. What's wrong with your leg? Pain, is it? No. How was the meeting? I admitted I had a drink and everyone understood what I was going through. Told you. Someone in the group even said they'll be my sponsor. I was right, right? If you didn't come, you'd be at home feeling like a loser. Everything is better now, right? Yeah, yeah, you're very smart. Hey, I'm uh, feeling better. I think I'm ready for a rematch. You know, to prove who's actually faster. You want to run again? Why? Now? Picking like Amma, is it? First one to that lamppost wins. Ready? One. Boy! Nikki! Who said you could do that? No, we said I couldn't. Clean out the mess now. <coughs> Where are Daddy and Auntie Ananya? I heard them shouting at each other and then Daddy went downstairs to talk to Madam Tiong and then Auntie Nanya went to work. Akka, can you play with me? If Anna was here, he would play with me. Okay, but you still have to clean up first. Thanks for taking me out. You went through all the effort to get dressed up. We might as well go out. <laughs> sure, you don't mind me seeing the quick and the curious? <laughs> Actually, I should thank you. Lucky I had an excuse to get out of it. Are you angry with Harris for cancelling? Um, I shouldn't be. It's not that he cancelled me and went out with someone else. He's really going to spend the whole night cooking. No choice. It's a huge last-minute order. I mean, I'm happy for him. It's completely unexpected. And he needed a business. You don't sound happy. Shira, we talk a lot over the phone. But we hardly see each other because he's got too much to do. I'm not saying Zara is right, but from an outside point of view, it does look like he's taking you for granted. But you're right too. He's starting a business. It's a lot. I hope things get better for him, so both of you can spend time together. I hope so too. So you already went for the AA meeting? Debbie was waiting for her. So what else happened at this meeting? Are you back here again? Do you come back to the office at night to spy on me? I came in to get some work. How was the Shelley meeting at Adina's? Oh, is that what you're worried about? It was nothing. Just Celia being Celia. Well, she looked pretty upset when she left. No, you don't have to worry about it. I'll go home. I can't. Not yet. 
I had a fight with Kenneth. You're not going to stay here all night, are you? <sighs> well, the last time I had a fight with Kenneth, I went over to Charles' place. <laughs> he did a pretty good impression of Kenneth. Cracked me up. Yeah, I'm not doing an impression of Kenneth. <laughs> Go home, Ananya. Buy Kenneth a big tub of ice cream and everything will be better. I don't think so. Well, let's don't stay here too late, okay? He suddenly had a big order. Uh, uh, do you remember how Abang used to suddenly have to work late all the time? Paris is not like your Abang. But he only calls when it's convenient for him and when he needs your help. That's not true. He needs you because he's just started his business. Uh, don't get taken for granted. Don't build your life around another guy. Don't be a doormat. Why is it when I'm doing something for you, I'm a nice person, but when I do something for someone else, I'm a doormat? 